This week we're back in the breadbasket of the Mohawk Valley and the village of St. Johnsville. It's been almost four years since we last visited this community, but we seem to remember that the library here was a destination in itself. Built in 1909, the Margaret Rainey Memorial Library is a gracious brick and gray granite building. Here you'll find European and American paintings, 19th century French sculptures, and an extensive collection of pre-revolutionary to present-day Mohawk Valley artifacts. Here in the lower level of the library is quite a museum. You can come into this room, for example, where I'm standing now. Here you can find all kinds of historic farm implements. For example, this item right here, I was wondering what it was, and it is called a hog plow, and it was uh, designed right here in St. Johnsville. And the reason I guess it's called a hog plow is because the tip of it would dig right into the dirt, just like hogs are known to do with their snouts. It's been a long time You're sure looking fine It's nice to see you around There's something in you Just can't explain you Bring the sun that shines down Bright colors You stay the same all the stones we carry. As we were driving along Main Street here in St. Johnsville, I saw the post office and I said, well, let's stop and take a look to see if there might be one of the murals inside the post office. And sure as shooting, there is one here. And it really is one of the most uh, colorful and certainly intriguing murals that we've come across in our travels. The six and a half by 14 foot oil on canvas painting depicts three periods of the Mohawk Valley. The beautiful painting is rather somber, from the colonists trading with the native people for pelts with rum and whiskey, to the scene of a young couple mourning the loss of their home and cattle to a British attack. It's been ten long years since I've seen my home In the hollow where I was born The cool fall night made the woods seem bright And the flags are We see the locals coming and going from a market on Bridge Street. So we follow them back to the deli and get in line to order a sub. But because of the owner's Pennsylvania background, we are given hoagies instead. Mohawk Valley Foods is a specialty food store featuring Amish baked goods, jams, spices, dried fruits, beans, and local eggs. Basically everything from soup to nuts as far as your baking needs and uh, lunch meat. Our baked goods come from some local Amish ladies that are their kitchens are certified through our license and uh, they make um, a wide variety of pies and, and cakes for the, especially over the summer. We ask Ed how life of a country store owner in the Mohawk Valley compares to his life near the city in Pennsylvania. A lot slower pace. Um, the lifestyle seems to be uh, from maybe the 70s or 60s compared to where we where we move from. Obviously in Philadelphia it's a lot more fast-paced. We get to see all, all walks of life and a wide demographic of people and uh, we really have our hand on the pulse of the community which is really a neat thing. When I came in here and went over to the deli case I had to kind of fight away all the other old white-haired guys because it seemed that we were all ordering the same thing and that's liverwurst. I know most people don't care too much about liverwurst so I asked the owner exactly what is it, what's in it. He didn't know. All I know is I've been eating it for years and the liverwurst here uh, with onion and with mustard was absolutely incredible and I'm glad that I ordered it. Here you can find all kinds of prepackaged soups that you can take home and make for yourself. Everything from bean soup to homemade hearty tomato. A great time to visit St. Johnsville is this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday during Spring Fest. There are village-wide garage sales and carnival rides every day, a chicken barbecue and wagon rides on Friday, and the towpath run, spring box derby, and parade on Saturday. Visit St. Johnsville during Spring Fest.